This video is all about fixing the NVIDIA settings that are secretly killing your FPS and causing stutters by optimizing NVIDIA shader cache and driver behavior. If you are gaming with an NVIDIA GPU and facing low FPS, shader compilation stutter, or inconsistent frame times, this guide will help you stabilize performance and make driver behavior more consistent across games. Make sure you watch till the end so you do not miss any important steps and subscribe for more advanced NVIDIA optimization guides. So guys, in the first step, we're going to change an important setting inside the NVIDIA control panel. The shader cache helps store compiled shaders, but when it's misconfigured, it can cause stutters, high disk usage, and FPS drops during gameplay. Temporarily disabling it allows us to fully clear old and broken cache files. Open the NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens, look on the left side and click Manage 3D Settings. Make sure you are under the Global Settings tab. Now, scroll down until you find Shader Cache. Click on it and set it to Off. Then click Apply at the bottom. This step prevents NVIDIA from creating new cache files while we clean the old ones in the next step. Disabling Shader Cache for now helps stop corrupted or outdated cache files from being used, which can reduce stutters and make FPS behavior more predictable in games. Now guys, in the next step, we're going to manually delete all existing NVIDIA shader cache files from your system. Over time, these files build up and can become bloated or broken, which directly causes FPS drops, micro stutters, and long loading times in games. Clearing them gives your GPU a fresh start. Start by opening the Run dialog using Windows key plus R. In the box that appears, type percent local app data percent and press enter. This will take you directly to the local app data directory where Windows and Nvidia store temporary performance files. Scroll until you find the Nvidia folder and open it. Inside, you will notice DX cache and GL cache. These directories hold outdated shader cache data that can slow down games over time. Delete both folders, approve any permission prompts, and if a few files refuse to delete, simply ignore them and move on. After that, stay in the same local app data location and look for a folder named D3DS cache. This is the DirectX shader cache managed by Windows itself, and it can also become corrupted or overloaded. Right click and delete this folder as well. After clearing these folders, all old shader data is completely removed. This helps eliminate shader related stutters improves FPS stability, and prevents random performance drops caused by broken cache files. Now guys, we're going to re-enable shader cache properly and set it to the best option for gaming. This allows NVIDIA to rebuild clean, optimized shader cache files that actually improve performance instead of hurting it. Open the NVIDIA control panel again, go to Manage 3D Settings, and stay under Global Settings. Scroll down and find shader cache once more. This time, set it to Unlimited, then click Apply. This setting allows NVIDIA to store as many shader files as needed without constantly deleting or rewriting them, which reduces stutters during gameplay. With shader cache set to Unlimited and all old cache cleared, your GPU can now rebuild shaders cleanly. This results in smoother gameplay, more stable FPS, faster shader loading, and a much more consistent gaming experience overall. All right guys, now that the shader cache is cleared, the next step is optimizing NVIDIA driver behavior, which is one of the biggest reasons these settings end up killing your FPS. Instead of relying on the limited NVIDIA control panel, we are going to use NVIDIA Profile Inspector, a powerful tool that unlocks advanced driver level controls. You can download it from my Discord server. The link is available in the video description. After downloading, right click NVIDIA Profile Inspector and run it as an administrator. Once it opens, go to the top left corner and select Global Profile from the drop-down menu. This is important because we want these optimizations applied system-wide so every game benefits, not just a single title. Scroll down carefully and start applying performance-focused settings. Set Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance so the GPU stays at full clocks during gameplay instead of down clocking randomly. Change Low Latency Mode to Ultra. This helps reduce input delay and prevents the CPU from holding frames too long before sending them to the GPU. Set shader cache size to unlimited so shaders are stored properly and not constantly overwritten, 
which directly helps with stutters and FPS drops. Next, find threaded optimization and set it to on. This allows the NVIDIA driver to better use multi-core CPUs and improves performance stability in CPU-heavy games. Set texture filtering quality to high performance for maximum FPS. Texture filtering and isotropic sample optimization can be left enabled if your goal is pure performance. Disabling it only makes sense if you are prioritizing visual quality over a few extra frames. Scroll further down and set vertical sync to off. Then make sure triple buffering is also off unless you intentionally use V-Sync. Leaving these enabled can introduce input lag and unnecessary FPS caps. Once all changes are done, click Apply Changes in the top right corner and close NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Restart your PC to ensure the driver reloads with fresh shader data and the optimized behavior takes effect properly. These optimizations directly address NVIDIA cache issues, FPS loss, and micro stutters, which is exactly why ignoring them can silently kill your performance. Now guys, if you're facing lag, ping spikes, or unstable connections in your online games, the Gear Up Booster is the perfect tool to fix those issues. Here is how to use it. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first step is to log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite, or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one, or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. All right guys, now we're going to take the final and most powerful step. This step targets hidden NVIDIA cache and GPU memory behavior that can cause stutters, frame drops, and inconsistent performance. Applied correctly, it stabilizes your GPU, smooths out frame times, and makes your games run noticeably smoother. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Registry Editor and launching it. Once it's open, use the address bar at the top to paste the registry path provided in the video description. This will take you straight to the correct GPU memory key. Here, we'll create or edit a few DWARD 32-bit values that directly influence GPU stability, RAM handling, and driver behavior. If a value doesn't exist, right-click in the empty space, select New DWARD 32-bit value, and name it exactly as shown in the guide. First, find or create TDR delay and set its value to 10. This extends the GPU timeout threshold, giving your graphics card more time to finish heavy tasks before Windows resets the driver. It's especially helpful for games that use a lot of VAM or stream assets from NVEM drives, reducing stutters, black screens, and unexpected crashes. Next, create or edit Which Mode and set it to 2. This activates hardware-accelerated GPU scheduling, letting the GPU manage workloads more directly rather than relying on the CPU. With supported hardware and drivers, this improves frame pacing, reduces latency, and gives a smoother overall experience. Finally, create or edit Disable Preemption and set it to 1. This prevents Windows from interrupting GPU tasks too aggressively, stabilizing VRAM usage and cutting down micro stutters caused by constant task switching, critical for VRAM heavy games and large open world titles. These registry optimizations, combined with the previous shader cache cleanup and NVIDIA profile inspector tweaks, tackle multiple hidden performance killers, making your FPS more stable, stutter-free, and responsive across almost any modern game. That's it for this guide. Try these steps and watch your FPS stabilize. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the description for more optimization tips.